Hey everybody, they really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of My Butler, along Kira Yosuke's route. We are on chapter 5 with him, Wavering Feelings, and I'm so disappointed because he's not the sadistic personality I was promised. As the title says, he has wavering feelings in this chapter, and he's been entirely too nice and sweet. Alright, well anyway, let's dig into this chapter. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. One month had passed since I started living in the mansion. Today is October 31st. Halloween! Kirishima and the others told me to come to the greenhouse for the Halloween party. Whoa! Oh, that looks pretty cool! That's quite lovely. It looks so plain before, it looks much better now. As I stepped into the greenhouse, I saw tons of black and orange decorations everywhere. There are pumpkins and ribbons over there too. Oh, there's a jack-o'-lantern wearing a witch's hat. <laughs> it's also cute. How do you like it, Mr. Lee? Oh, Kirishima. I love it. The decorations look like something right out of an amusement park. It's really cute. <laughs> Isn't that great, Kirishima? He done all the preparations himself. Please continue praising him, Mr. Lee. Uh, ahem. Don't say it like that. Oh, he's blushing! That's the first time I think I've seen Kirishima blush, I think. Oh, that's unusual. Are you blushing? I'm not the only one who noticed. That's not what I'm talking about. Yonekura and Kamisaki had helped out as well. If you really like the decorations, please make sure to thank them too. <laughs> okay, I will. It's not just decorated nicely. There are treats and fruit punch too. They prepared all of this for me. I'm really impressed. Creak. Kira! Oh, Kira, look at all of this. Still mixed feelings. For a second, Kira looked at me very surprised. Well, that's great, Mr. Lee. He started to force a smile onto his face. Oh. It's been weeks since then. When will this awkward phase disappear? Oh, God, so disappointing. Stop being awkward. Get a hold of yourself, man. Where did my sadistic butler go? Come back to me. Kira. Oh, I'm kind of confused. Could you give me some time? You've had enough time! Ever since then, Kira has been close to me, yet feels far away. I don't know how to face him. Creak. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry. Oh, Yonagura, Kamisaki. Thank goodness, they came at such a good time. I felt a little relieved after seeing the two of them come late and smiled at them. Thanks for doing all the prep work for this cute party. Think nothing of it. <laughs> Kamisaki is so shy and blunt as usual. Our hard work has paid off if you're enjoying yourself. You're right, Kamisaki. Huh? I don't think you did any work at all, did you? Hmm, that's not true. That's just your own misunderstanding. Yonakura chuckled to evade responsibility and looked at me. Yeah, there you have it. Please relax and enjoy yourself today, Mr. Billy. Uh, uh okay. Uh, oh no, when I look at Yonakura, I can't help but remember that night. It's so nerve-wracking, I can't help but keep my guard up around him. That's right, get jealous, Kira, come on. Come this way, Mr. Billy. This is your party, after all. Why is it my party? Shouldn't this be everybody's Halloween party? Yeah, thank you, Kirishima. Kirishima's word signaled the start of the Halloween party. Why did they break that sentence up? <laughs> when I look at all the pumpkins like this, I can tell who carved them. This big and roughly carved one must be Yonokura's. This carefully cut one with fine features must be Kamisaki's. As I thought this to myself, I looked around the greenhouse. Mr. Willy. Huh? Whoa! Uh, oh! It's you, Yonakura. <laughs> Please don't be so frightened. All I did was come close to you. It's alright. It's not like I'm going to steal you away and feast on you. Y yeah That's true. Yonakura hadn't tried to approach me since that night. I have to act like it doesn't bother me either. As I thought that... Uh... Slurp? Yonakura suddenly came close to my face and licked my cheek. What the hell? Eek! Excuse my behavior, but there was some cream on your cheek. That's why you licked me all of a sudden? Is that normal for you? Oh, he's such a good friend he's going to try to st stir Kira up, right? Is that what it is? Yonakura. Oh, Kira. 
Did he see that just now? Could he... Do you have business with Mr. Rilly, Yonakura? Kira's mouth is smiling, but his eyes are nowhere near happy. No, not really. Yonakura shrugged his shoulders in a joking manner. See, it's just like I said, he guards you like a watchdog. He whispered those words into my ear, so only I could hear them. Like I said before, don't get angry just from stuff like this, Kira. More importantly, Kira, haven't you been acting a little weird recently? What? No, not really. Could it be? Are you jealous of me and Mr. Rilly? What? Oh, that's surprising. I guess you do have those type of feelings like any other regular person. You're not gonna... Kira had a stern look on his face, and then... Kira, can I borrow you for a moment? What? Kamisaki showed up, looking worried. W what is it, Kamisaki? Wait, are you... are you drunk? Huh? <laughs> That's really weird. He's right. Kamisaki's eyes are all bloodshot. <laughs> and why is he asking for Kira? Not to mention he's staggering. Ugh. He drank all the alcohol Kirishima bought out from the storehouse by himself. What? What? Are you serious? I turned around, and there were empty wine bottles rolling on the table. Oh my god! This is horrible! Is he so depressed about me that he drunk himself into a stupor? He drank all of that by himself? Kira, what do you think about the really... Mr. Really? What I think? That's none of your business. From my point of view, Derilli really likes you, Kira. And it looks like you're interested in her, too. Ugh. Kira is interested in me? I don't know how you're not gonna meddled with you two, but... Hey, hold on a second. Don't treat me like some kind of pest. Shut up, Yonakura. Please don't butt into our conversation. What? Kamisaki really speaks his mind when he's drunk. Kira, I'm begging you. Please don't make Mr. Really sad. If you really love her, you need to be honest about your feelings. That's what I think, at least. Bud. <laughs> After finishing his statement, Kamisaki fell over like a dead battery. <laughs> dead battery? What kind of statement is that? I've never seen a dead battery fall over. Uh, hey, Kamisaki. Come on, get a hold of yourself. Are you okay, Kamisaki? Uh, I think he's passed out. I don't think he can hear you. W wait, what in the world is going on here? Kamisaki drank all the wine by himself and collapsed. What? I can't believe it. This is why I was against having alcohol in the daytime. If Madame Eiko was here, we'd have to write her a formal apology, Kirishima. <laughs> My bad. Judging by your expression, I can tell you weren't completely sorry. I don't think he's sorry at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Please be lenient and forgive me, Kagurazaka. Kamisaki was drinking out of heartbreak. In other words, he was drowning his sorrows. Oh, that's so sad! Huh? Kagurazaka was blinking in surprise as he looked at us. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on. I understand. In that case, I'll overlook this just this once. Kagurazaka sighed and looked troubled as he started to smile awkwardly. He then turned toward me. I'm sorry for getting you mixed up in their quarrel, Mr. Rilly. Uh, okay? What? Oh, hi, Kira. Where's Kamisaki? Well, I bought him to his room and laid him down on his bed. He was so heavy, he really tired me out because his body's so big. Yeah, he's the beefiest guy in here. Well, I haven't seen Kira without his clothes, but we described him as thin, so... <laughs> Take it easy. Should I massage your shoulders later? Don't be silly. If I make you do that, Kagurazaka will be furious and come after me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, Kira's laughing. It's been a while since we've had a laid-back conversation like this. Thanks to Kamisaki, all the awkwardness disappeared before I could realize it. You know... I really do like talking to Kira like this. Mr. Really, is something wrong? Kira's eyes were incredibly gentle as he stared at me. Y yeah I'm fine. If what Kamisaki said was true, Kira also likes me? After that, we moved to the banquet hall to start the next set of festivities. There were pumpkin dishes laid out that Kagurazaka had prepared for us. 
Kamisaki sobered up and returned. He started drinking again with Yonaka and the others. Don't let him drink more! Or did he drink all the alcohol and he's just drinking normal stuff now? It started to get late into the night. The lively Halloween party was finally coming to a close. I'm sure he went a little overboard, because you were the only guest, but... Did you have fun, Mr. Lee? I wish we could do it again next year. I had a lot of fun. I wish we could... What? I wish we could do Halloween next year together with everyone again. Mr. Lee. Kanishima looked a little shocked as he opened his eyes after hearing my words. It's not possible. I know that, but today was so much fun. You're right. Huh? Then I'll invite you here next year on the exact same day. I will do my best to have a Halloween party next year as well. I'll send you an invitation when the time comes. Please celebrate it with us again. Kirishima. I'll look forward to it. Well, it might just be him, Kagurazaka, and me, huh? Indeed. I'll be looking forward to next year as well. Oh, I have never seen him spell like that before, I don't think. Ah, Kirishima. Thank you very much for today. Kirishima bowed deeply as he said those words. Kirishima is really sweet. Even if it doesn't happen, I'm happy just hearing him say those words to me. Phew. I finally returned to my room. I threw myself on top of my fluffy bed. Oh, are you alright? You look a little tipsy. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard and drank too much. Is that so? In that case... Shall I bring some cold water to sober you up? No, I'm fine. You're not the least bit drunk, are you, Kira? That level of alcohol doesn't affect me. Kira smiled, completely composed. R really It looked like Kirishima and the others made him drink a lot. As I thought that... Mr. Really? Kira suddenly looked at me in all seriousness. Huh? What is it? Will you... allow me to speak for just a bit? Huh? I apologize. For my attitude these past few days. Oh, that's... that's not something that needs apologizing for. I finally realized something after hearing Kamisaki's words. Mr. Really, I think I... Huh? My heart skipped a beat as I stared into his earnest eyes. Kira, what are you trying to say? Mr. Really, Please don't let me pass out before I get this out. I... Wait a second, Kira! Huh? Look, it's already past twelve. Why did I interrupt them for that? Come on! So, you don't have to act like a butler. You can talk normally now. Really? Kira opened his eyes wide in astonishment. <laughs> I just can't win against you. I really can. If it's with you, I think I really can have a serious relationship. Then again, we might already have started one. He looked at me a little embarrassed, yet with a gentle smile. My heart was jumping out of my chest. What about you, Darily? I... I... I also... I also think we might have already started one. Darily? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Kira's handsome face started to soften up. Well... Falling in love with someone was a lot easier than I thought. With an exuberantly gleeful smile, Kira rubbed my head vigorously. Come over here, Darily. Huh? We didn't get to talk very much at the party, so... Let's celebrate Halloween, just the two of us. Halloween again? Trick or treat. Which one do you want? Which one? Oh, I want a trick. Trick, I guess. Oh... You want me to tease you that badly? Yes! Get back to your old self, man! Kira's smile started to slip out as he stretched his hand out to my cheek. No, it's just because you weren't holding any treats in your hand. No excuses. <laughs> I'll do as you wish. Can I tease you in a more mature fashion? Huh? Oh, don't play dumb. It's about time. We've been waiting long enough. He put both of his hands on my cheeks. Just like that, he shut my lips with a kiss. Mmm! His tongue quickly trespassed into my mouth and entangled with mine. He started to suck. Ugh! Kira's lips really are sweet. They're like an addicting treat. Mmm! Ugh! 
the sweet tip of his tongue violated my mouth without rest. Before I knew it, I was in a trance and started to respond to his kisses. This is bad. I feel so good. My head is going blank. You really are cute. Irresistibly cute. I tried to escape, but he caught me. He kissed me even more passionately than before. I, I can't breathe. It hurts, Kira. You're only a young lady. You dare to go against a butler like me? Hey, it's after midnight. You're not a butler now. It's my job to punish you when you act up like that. As he said that, Kira put his lips closer to my ear. Ah! He lightly bit my earlobe, and I couldn't help but let out a squeal. <laughs> it felt so good you had to let out a screech. Y you jerk! Yeah, just like that. When you glare at me all red and teary-eyed. It's cute when you make a face like that. How should I put it? It's a little sexy. You've never shown anyone else that face before, right? Yeah, I've only done it in front of you. I've never met someone who's a bully and sweet at the same time before. Uh, just for the record, I don't say these things to just anyone. You're the only person I've wanted to tease this badly. Is that supposed to make me happy? Of course, you should be honored. I am. Teasing you, making you cry, troubling you. I want to make it so you can only think of me. I want to kiss you forever. I want to corner you. And? And? You want me to say the rest? Y yeah I'm scared, but I want to hear it. I see. All right, um... I want to make you cry so badly that you'll have to faint in my arms. Huh? You are the first one to make me feel something like that. And... This is the first time I've ever been jealous because of a girl. At that time, all I could think about was how annoyed I was. I was surprised at how I could get jealous so easily. Does he mean the thing that happened between Yonakara and I? Um, Kira, there's nothing really between Yonakara and I. Yeah, I know. I was jealous and about to vent my anger on Yonakara despite knowing that fact. It's surprising, but I'm a petty man. That's not true. I'm so happy that you thought so dearly of me. Um, Kira... Hmm, what? The thing you'd said before, about my reward. I figured out what I wanted, but can I tell you? Huh? Right now? Sure, what is it? Could you sleep with me? Like, before? Not just for tonight, but every day from now on. Really? Well, that isn't a reward for you. It feels like my reward. It doesn't matter. I don't want to be separated from you anymore. Really? What's up with that? Is that your counterattack against me? Huh? You're going to tug on my heartstrings and give me a heart attack? Is that what you want? But is it really okay with you? Well, I've said it before, haven't I? I won't be able to simply sleep next to you. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Really? Oh, you really are too cute. What's with you? Kira started coming closer to me. Ah! Before I realized it, I was nestled inside of Kira's chest. Both of his hands were hugging me tightly. All right, I'll be by your side tonight, tomorrow night, the night after, and forevermore. I won't let go of you, even if you're tired of me. I'd never get tired of you, ever. I want to hold you until morning as we sleep. That's okay, right? Yes. Um... It's embarrassing, so it would make me happy if you didn't keep asking. Yeah, you're right. In any case. In the end, I don't think I could fall asleep. No, I might not let you go to sleep. Huh? Yeah, you're so red. And what's with that? You're the one who bought this upon yourself. D don't say that. <laughs> Come here, Darilli. I'll help you get undressed. I'm embarrassed. What? What's wrong, Darilli? I'm the one who's always undressing you when you get changed to take a bath, right? Th that's true, but... Yeah, you suddenly got embarrassed because you're interested in me. Is that what this is about? Y yeah And just for the record, getting embarrassed like this has the opposite effect on me. I'm the type that wants to embarrass you more, the more times you make faces like that. Come on, make your choice and come here. Your body is so cute. 
There's no reason to be embarrassed now. Y your words are the thing that embarrasses me the most. It's okay. I'll be gentler and sweeter to you than any other person in the world. So, come here, Zerilli. Okay. In the end, Kira and I got into bed together. I have to admit, Kira's got the best, uh, CGs in here. <laughs> Hmm, really? Your face is so cute. I was in my camisole. Kira had kissed me again and again. This bed is nice, isn't it? It's big enough for two people to sleep on. Y yeah Oh, but it's hard to roll out a twin bed. We could have slept snug while holding each other. Yeah. Zerilli, all you've been saying is yeah. I noticed that. It's annoying. W well... Well, what? Kira chuckled and hung over me as he stared into my eyes. Are you embarrassed? Excited? Or do you want me to touch you and tease you? What? <laughs> I'll have no idea what you want unless you say it properly. J jeez he's such a bully. Hey, at least turn off the lights. Hmm? Is it be- I think that's supposed to be him. Is it because you're embarrassed? I can't imagine myself saying that. Then what should I do? Sure, why not? Kira smirked and turned off the lights. No, I want the lights. Oh, okay. He still can still see, just it's a different color. Now the moonlight was the only light illuminating the room. Oh, when I kiss you and touch you like this. As he spoke, Kira's long slender fingers caressed my breast directly. <laughs> it tickles. Which do you like better? I'll do the one you like better. Do... I have to say it? Yup. I'll just keep staring at your face, doing nothing unless you tell me. J jeez It's more embarrassing when you stare at me like that. Th then Can you... kiss me one more time? <laughs> so you like being kissed better, huh? The truth is, so do I. Our lips were the only thing that touched as they made a cute smooching sound. Cute. <sighs> Kira's lips are really sweet and refreshing. It feels really good. Really? Do you understand that you're my possession? Yes, I know. So, you can do whatever you want to me. Well, I was going to do that even without your permission. Kira chuckled and buried his face into my neck. Ugh. I put my hands around his back and held on to him tightly. The next day, Kira had already gotten up when I opened my eyes. He was grinning as he looked at me. Morning, Dorilly. Ah, finally! Hey, he's pretty beefy, too. I didn't think he... I thought he would be skinnier, like they said. But, uh, looks like Yonakura is actually the skinniest guy in this game. I think Kamisaki's still a little more muscular, though. Morning, Dorilly. Good morning, Kira. Did you sleep well? Y yes I slept well last night, too. Is what I wanted to say, but... But you stayed up all night watching me sleep? In reality, I didn't get much sleep because of you. Huh? It was my fault? Yup. You were so cute that I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Oh, he looks ticked off about it. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so cute. Th that Even I... Hmm, you was. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't get much sleep because of me? You're the one who wouldn't let go of me. Oh... <laughs> Oh, come on, be a man, don't complain about it. Uh, you're going to bring that up right now? <laughs> sorry, I was just joking. He looks much better when he smiles like that without his glasses. But it's fun, acting like a normal couple with you. Yeah. Talking about trivial stuff, flirting and going on dates. A date sounds good. Where do you want to go? As long as we can have fun together, anywhere's fine. How about an amusement park? Oh, that sounds like a kid's first date. Have you been wanting to go to one? Yeah. I see. You're so cute. Kira giggled. The bed squeaked as he got on top of it. Really? Do you love me? Huh? W what are you saying all of a sudden? Well, I mean... I did say it so many times last night, didn't I? Haven't I said it a couple times, too? I love you. I was just thinking how you haven't said it back to me a single time yet. Really? I thought I did. 
I must be reading too many stories. Instead, you breathe really heavily in a cute way, but... <gasps> I want to hear you say love. Tell me you love me. I will... Ha! Kiss him without speaking. You're not getting it that easily. I can't say it. In exchange, I bent over and kissed Kira on the lips. Wait, you just tried to sneak out of it by kissing me, didn't you? Just as I kissed him, Kira looked at me angrily. I could see his forehead wrinkle up. I, I didn't try to sneak out of it. No, you did. I punish girls like you by returning the favor 100 times. W what? 100 times? Like this. Ah! He embraced me with all of his strength and threw me down on the bed. He gave me a kiss that was a little too passionate for the morning. Ugh. Oh no, it feels so good. <gasps> when he finally released me, I was breathing heavily as I looked up at Kira. Well, that's why I told you. I'd pay you back 100 times. That's right. Is it really? Huh? You can call me Kira when I'm your butler, but isn't it normal when we're alone? It's too formal, don't you think? R really? I don't really think so. I mean, when I think about how famous Kira is, I get a little disheartened. When I'm not on the job, I'd like you to call me something that's a little more natural for lovers like us. Something more natural? Like what? Like sugar buns? Let's see. I'll call you Derilli. So, you should call me by my first name, too. Huh? I should call Kira by his first name? Y Yosuke? Oh, that's fine, but my model friends call me Yo since childhood, so... What do you think about that? No, I don't want to call you Yo. Yo? Why don't you try calling me that? Yo? Uh, I, I don't think I can do it. I'm so embarrassed just from calling him like that. I like Yosuke, though. The name Yosuke sounds good. Hey, are you okay? Your face is so flushed. It looks like flames are about to burst out from it. I might not be feeling so well, after all. Is it that embarrassing? Y yeah <laughs> What's up with that? We've kissed and done so much more. Th that's true, but... You don't have to be so embarrassed just from calling me by my name. That doesn't make it less embarrassing. In the end, it's different. Really? Well, I guess that's fine. Then, you can call me by my name when you've gotten used to it. Until then, keep practicing. I'm looking forward to the day when you call me by my first name. Oh, don't look sad. Kira? For a second, Kira had a different expression on his face. Why did he look so lonesome just now? Because he's worried he's going to be separated from us? Or is he upset that we never said I love you? Wow, that was a long chapter, but totally worth it. No, his distant heart. Does that mean we're going to distance again? Now that we finally got past the awkwardness. Dern did, Kira. Well, I had to stop recording for the night, although I want to keep going, but I gotta stop because I got so much to do. Well, whenever things get posted, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.